Now that we've seen how to add web parts, let's have a look at some good ones to use. So again, we'll go to Site Actions, Edit Page, and click on Add a Web Part. And that'll bring up our list of available web parts. This first area here, Lists and Libraries, will show you any of the calendars you've created, any of the folders you've created. So again, if you're working on a current unit and you want that folder to show up, you would click on it and it would show up on your main page and then all of your other folders would remain in your uh, available in your quick launch. Uh, also same thing if you want to show your calendar on your site you would click on your calendar in this case our calendar is called important dates and then it would show up uh, on your page so that students and parents can keep track of due dates. Uh, business data I don't think there's really anything there that is, is too useful uh, the content rollup, the My Links web parts. So this is where you can add links, useful links for your students uh, or your colleagues if you're using my site as a PLC. Um, so that way, all in one area, you can manage and and organize uh, useful links for your subject matter. And then in the default section, the RSS viewer is quite handy. Uh, as we've mentioned before uh, regarding RSS feeds, they can be a pretty powerful tool. And if you have uh, for your site uh, or your subject, if you have a blogger or an, uh, a writer that, that you think might be useful and you want to keep track of, of what they've written and they their site provides an RSS feed, then this can grab that feed and bring all of their posts and all of their articles directly to your website. So that way if you want your students to read a specific writer, uh, you can bring all of their work to your class. That way it saves the students from having to go and try and find it. Uh, in the miscellaneous there's a lot of, of really good uh, web parts. First one is the content editor web part. This allows you to insert text, tables, images, links. Uh, it, it's pretty di uh, pretty flexible. Uh, it, it's a lot, it's quite similar to a Word document where you can insert a lot of things uh, and, and that's probably the best one if you want to type directly on your web page this would be the best part web part to use. The image web part if you have a specific image you would like to display on your web page uh, this is the web part you'd want to use. The image rotator is, is really quite interesting. It allows you to rotate through a series of images. So if you were doing a unit on uh, Egyptian architecture you could go and find uh, a variety of pictures of the Sphinx, the uh, different temples, the pyramids, and then this image rotator would go into that folder and rotate through all of those photos. The Quizcom Media Plus is really handy as well. If you have a video that you want to show or a YouTube video that you want your students to see, you're able to embed it directly into your page. So it saves, again, the students the step of having to go outside of your site to, to see content you want them to see. The Page Viewer web part, again, is really interesting. It allows you to embed another web page directly into your site. So if you were doing a research project with your class and you want all of your students to go directly to the same page, you could actually embed that page into your own page. So again, saving students uh, from having to find that and getting lost or distracted. And that is all.